Hey everybody, it's All by Alex 5 and happy Halloween. I've been doing these Halloween videos for a while and I have finally got to my so far last one. I might do a couple of different ones, but this is my Halloween special. And it is on this creature from the Lock Lagoon action figure. And it is really cool. Last year I reviewed something with the Creature from the Lock Lagoon. Go check that video out. It's the reaction figure. But this time I'm thinking about actually doing a review on this Creature from the Lock Lagoon figure. And I'm thinking about doing reviews on Creature from the Lock Lagoon figures every Halloween, maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet, but maybe I'll do something different. But I might make this a tradition. So, yeah. Really cool figure. And this is the Imperial lifelike stretchable figure. And it is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Like, it's not the best creature figure, but it is really nice. So, like, you can see, um, very detailed, actually. The main thing with these is that, like, this is made out of rubber and stuff, so it's, like, wiggly. Kind of stretchy, but I don't stretch it too much. I don't want to stretch it. Because it's in really good condition overall. And yeah. I've been want I wanted to get this figure for a long time and when I finally got it, I was so happy. But you can see pretty good detail on the face. Looks like the creature from Lake Lagoon. He's got the gills on there. Uh with the lighter green paint. He's got the hand up there and the creature pose. Uh pretty much a pose from the movie claws on there with the webbed fingers and then he has the green on there you can see it, some of it is worn off because I bought this used and it's rare to find these with a the tag by the way so if you find one with a tag you are lucky and you should get it and it, but a lot of them are expensive with the tag on see this has the green stuff um torn off because it's just paint and yeah, <clears throat> very good detail. You can see all the bumps and stuff. Makes it feel very lifelike, I guess you could say. And uh, very reptilian. And then you can see, um, this is probably the spot that has the most wear on it. It's the chest area. You can see uh, it has wear on there. Oh, uh, the paint has been scratched off. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't look too bad though. And I like the little detail of like the spikes going down. Sort of. And then, uh, it's not really spikes, but just like that detail looks pretty cool. It has a nice texture to it. It has some good detail lines <clears throat> on there. And the back has the spine going down with the fins. And, uh, some of the paint on here is worn off. It's okay, though. And then, um, yeah. Then you can see like some more little fins and gills and stuff on there. I like the creature feet on here. It looks really cool. And yeah. So you can see it just shakes around stuff. Like this hand has been shaking ever since I picked this up. If you want to see it stretched, pretty much this is like how you can stretch it. It is pretty much like if you were to stretch it a lot, it would break. It's one of those types of toys. So, you know, you can see like that. And uh, this is from 1999, so it's pretty old and it actually has held up pretty well in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. I love it a lot. But my favorite part about it is that it's really cool and squishy. But um, my favorite thing about it is that there is these beads in there. And when you squish it, it makes this really cool noise and it's just really fun to squish. Feel it in there. Hear it? I love that noise. It's so cool. So yeah, this is really cool. I love. I just love squishing this. And yeah, very cool figure. It's in pretty nice condition. Like I said, it's from Imperial, nineteen ninety nine. Really good condition, and if you find one with a with the tag, definitely pick it up because those are rare to find, and just really awesome figure. I love it. 
My only problems with it is that, you know, it was a little scratched up, but that's okay because it's an old figure. But my only actual problem was actually when I bought it because it smelled like cigarette smoke. And, no, it actually has aired out. It doesn't smell like cigarette smoke anymore because it smelled all nasty, but it's still pretty good. Really awesome figure. I didn't have any problems with it, really, other than that. And it's pretty big. It's about, I'd say, seven inches tall. So, yeah, it won't stay out of course because it's just a little rubbery figure. But awesome figure otherwise. I love it. One of my favorite figures in my collection. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and subscribe for more spooky reviews.